Bob is about to have a gastric bypass operation. The size of his stomach will be radically reduced. Now, what are you going to dream about today? <laughs> hmm? Getting dinner. <laughs> His doctors expect the operation to have a dramatic effect on his appetite. For Bob and his family, it's the best hope of bringing about the health changes that he desperately needs. OK, does he come in? Yeah. OK. Take three slow, deep breaths. At the end of the third one, things will be much better. Drifting gently off to sleep. Good. I'm here at Charing Cross Hospital to watch Bob's surgery. His surgeon is leading bariatric consultant, Mr. Ahmed Ahmed. Uh, all right. John, are we ready to start? He will operate on Bob using the latest techniques in keyhole surgery. So I've gone through the skin, and the yellow stuff there is fat. You have to go through the fat and then through the abdominal wall muscle there. First quick peek inside, we're going to see that all the yellow stuff here you see is fat. The first stage of the operation is to shrink the size of the stomach. That little pale pink organ coming up, mm -hmm. that's your stomach right there. And you're essentially going to reduce the size of that, eh? Yes, absolutely. By what sort of amount? Uh, we'll probably make it about a tenth of its normal size. Ten percent of what it is at the moment. Wow, that's quite radical, isn't it? Yes. The total volumes are going to be about 20 mils, which is about three or four tablespoons. So 90 percent of the stomach will just be kind of left there inactive, will it? Exactly. It, it's still going to have its blood supply, and it's still going to make, uh, you know, uh, gastric juices, uh, but it'll never see food again. And, surprisingly enough, it's not just Bob's stomach they're affecting. Now, you might think that just by reducing the size of the stomach, that's how he's going to sort out Bob's problems, because smaller stomach, you eat less, it's sort of straightforward. But actually, the mechanism by which it works is completely different. And it's only relatively recently that they've discovered why doing gastric bypass is so effective. The modern thinking actually is that by Making a smaller stomach, you're actually inducing the changes in various uh, chemical messengers, which in turn affect uh, hunger levels and fullness levels, which in turn cause the weight loss. Mm. So, as well as reducing the size of Bob's stomach, the point of the operation is to change the levels of certain gut hormones. These chemical messengers are released by the gut in response to food and tell the brain when to eat or stop eating. One of the hormones, ghrelin, makes you feel hungry. We think that ghrelin is actually being produced from this part of the stomach up here. Right. This fundus. This is called the fundus of the stomach. And this is where all the cells that produce ghrelin are sort of based. Now, what we think we're doing is we're actually separating that part of the stomach completely from ever seeing food. So the food will never touch those cells that make the ghrelin. Once they're isolated, the ghrelin cells no longer function normally. Hormone production will be reduced, and Bob should feel less hungry. <laughs> 